So when talking about therapeutic drug drug levels, it's important to know that there's there are many different therapeutic uh, or drugs that we generally measure uh, therapeutic levels with. However, for the NCLEX, there's really four that you really kind of need to know. Okay, so let's get into that. First of all, what is uh, therapeutic drug monitoring? Uh, therapeutic drug monitoring involves checking blood concentration of medication to ensure that it's within a certain range. And why do we do this? Well, we do it for a few reasons. First of all, we do it to improve drug efficacy, reduce toxicity, and aid in diagnosis. And it depends upon what drug we're talking about, what kind of it's going to fall under. For a lot of them, it's going to fall under efficacy and toxicity. So with a lot of these drugs, they need to stay within a very certain range in order to be effective. And they need to stay below a certain range in order for the patient to avoid toxicity or uh, extreme adverse effects. Okay. So the drugs that you really kind of need to know for NCLEX and their therapeutic levels are digoxin, lithium, theophylline, and phenytoin. And most important are going to be these first three, digoxin, lithium, and theophylline. Um, and a lot of times phenytoin is going to be tested as well. So with the digoxin, our therapeutic level is going to be 0.8 to 2 micrograms per liter. Okay. Lithium, 0.8 to 1.2 millimoles per liter. Theophylline, 10 to 20 micrograms per milliliter and phenytoin 10 to 20 milligrams per liter. Now, if you go below the presentation at the bottom of this page, there's a PDF download that you can get that contains these four uh, drugs and their um, therapeutic levels, as well as some other important ones like vancomycin um, that are important to know, but they aren't necessarily going to be tested on the NCLEX. Okay, so again, digoxin 0.8 to 2, Lithium, 0.8 to 1.2, theophylline 10 to 20, phenytoin 10 to 20. Okay, now why do we test these levels in these specific drugs? So, with digoxin, we want it to be that uh, 0.8 to 2 to avoid toxicity, right? And, and if you get a pharmacology question on the NCLEX, there's a good chance you're going to get one about digoxin toxicity. And what they may tell you is they may tell you the patient's digoxin level is 2.5 and they're experiencing visual disturbances. Okay, now what you're going to want to look at, you're going to want to, you need to know a couple things. You need to know, okay, what is the therapeutic level for digoxin? And then what are the signs of digoxin toxicity? So, if they're seeing that halo, that ring in their visual changes, then that's a side effect, or that's a, a sign of digoxin toxicity. And then we also have our level, uh, which is above our therapeutic range, so we know that the right answer is that they're going to be experiencing digoxin toxicity. Okay? Now with lithium, the main reason we're doing it is to achieve desired results. And the blood's going to be checked more frequently when starting therapy, okay? So our level is the 0 0.8 to 1.2. And now when, when someone's beginning therapy with lithium, we're going to check it more frequently. It may be uh, much more frequently. And then once we achieve that desired uh, kind of result, then we're going to decrease the frequency. A lot of times this can be checked um, to ensure the patient's being compliant with their medications. Patients that are taking lithium are in a population that uh, very frequently can can uh, be non-compliant with taking their medications, okay? Theophylline. Theophylline is a drug that is not um, given incredibly regularly nowadays. However, um, it is an important drug to know because it does have some serious side effects and it's tested very often. So we're looking at 10 to 20 for our level here, okay? And what we do usually with this is we check a trough level. What trough level means is it's a level that's drawn before the next dose is given, okay? And based on that, we can adjust our, um, our dosage, okay? So right before the patient's going to get their next dose of theophylline, we take a trough level. And, you know, if their level is 18, we could decrease our dose. Uh, if the level is 8, we could increase our dose, 
okay, for the next dose. And it also helps us to monitor toxicity. Okay, there's a couple of reasons people are going to get theophylline. It can be used as a bronchodilator, and then it can also be used for apnea in neonates, okay? Now, if, if it is for a neonate, the level can be a, a bit lower than what you're looking at here. It's probably not going to be uh, 20. It's going to be a bit lower, maybe around 13 for your, your upper end. Um, when it's used for a bronchodilator in an adult, you can go with this 10 to 20. Okay, again, when it's used for apnea and neonates, it may be a little bit lower. Now, you can just kind of think of that. You know, if it's much smaller, the baby's much smaller. Um, they don't need as high a dose, etc. Now, some of the things you're going to see if the baby... If the baby um, does have uh, too high of a level, you're going to see signs of like uh, caffeine, excessive caffeine, things like um, jitteriness, irritability, tremors, rapid heart rate. So just think of, of how you would act if you had too much caffeine. If you had too much caffeine and think that's how the baby's going to act as well. Okay, so really with Theophylline, we're kind of doing it um, to adjust dosage and for toxicity levels. And think uh, apnea for neonate, it's going to be a little bit lower of an upper end. And with bronchodilator for, for older people, it's going to be a little higher. Okay, phenytoin. Phenytoin levels are a level that I draw very often in my place of work because I work in a neuro ICU. And phenytoin is given to decrease seizure activity. Okay, so we give it to maintain therapeutic level. Now, when the patient's just starting out, we're going to check it very often, and our level is going to be 10 to 20 that we're shooting for. If, uh, you know, we'll start them on Dilantin, if their level, you know, if we draw it in the morning, it's 8, we could increase our dose. Next morning, it's 12, we can keep increasing our dose until we get to that therapeutic level. Once we get to that therapeutic level, we kind of keep our medicine at a baseline, and we kind of go from there. And we kind of... Uh, then we'll check it uh, at frequent intervals to determine if they're staying at that therapeutic level and if it's working. Okay, guys. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to the um, PDF, download that PDF. I want you to keep that in your notes, and I want you to focus on these four uh, medications, Dilantin, Lithium, Theophylline, and Phenytoin. Um, and you can look at the others just for your own reference, but these would be medications you need to focus on for the NCLEX. Okay, guys, that's really it for therapeutic levels. Um, go ahead and uh, check out the PDF, and we'll see you in the next lesson.